everyone. Today I'm going to I'm not going to be going over a game in this video, but I'm just going to be going over a setup that you should always try to achieve um what if you're playing as either white or black in a chess game. So if if you want to go for the normal king's pawn opening, which is oh, sorry about that, um, pawn to e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and <clears throat> actually not that. You could go e4, e5, and now d4, and d5. So now if you go knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6, and then now you if you you, you have you want to go bishop c4 if this pawn weren't here, but let's say that pawn wasn't there, and then bishop f5. Let's imagine the pawns cannot capture diagonally, and then after castles, castles, rook e1. Rook e1, rook e8, queen, <clears throat> queen e2, queen e7, and rook to d1, and rook d8. Now let's say these pawns could somehow could not capture. <clears throat> this is the this is the position you want to be aiming to get. These um these rooks are charging down at the king. I'll show you that a little better this time. Let's see. So now e4, e5. And then if you want to go d4 and knight f3, you could go for the Kennedy variation of the ninja witch, ninja witch defense, but then you can just defend, and let's say he doesn't, he's somehow not interested in capturing your pawn, he'll, <coughs> he'll just go for a normal bishop from scotch variation, and then after castles, and then now, and then now if you, if you go bishop g5, so the main goal is you just want to, just want to bring all your pieces, Towards the center, you don't want to um, remain them un undeveloped on these on these squares. See, look at that the square that you the square that this um, the G1 knight was on previously. Now the king is on it. So that's what you should be aiming to um, aiming to achieve. Let's say he just goes for um, four knights variation scotch, and now if you just come back and then. You just want to open up with d6. This is the position you want to you want to be aiming for. You got your knights out. You want your you got your bishops out. You got your knights out. Your queen is nicely um, placed and ready to attack. And these rooks are not staying here guarding the king, but they're actually charging down at your at your opponent's king if he hadn't castled. Yeah, but even if he didn't castle. And let's say you would go rook to, rook to eight. And I could just bring your rooks into the game, and then you could you could do fabulous things here, like that. And then you could you could somewhat bring your knight into the game like this. But then after it captures 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 queen h five, then you're just threatening too many things. So this is. This is one of the possibilities that could happen whenever you play in the scotch game. No, not the scotch game. So the so the setup I showed you before. Let's see, let's show you it again. So this is the scotch setup you should want. So there you have it, the scotch here. Um, the setup you should have and. Once again, it is called the ball side. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video. And I hope you have an excellent rest of your day.